Lupe Fiasco, Droga's Light. This is a cool album. This is his sixth studio album. And man, this one is on fire. Woo! I really, really enjoyed this album a lot. I haven't listened to Lupe Fiasco in a long time, quite a few years. Takes me the whole way back to a long time ago when a very good friend of mine was like, check this guy out. He is awesome. I checked him out. I liked it. And then for some reason, I just lost track of Lupe, which is a shame because he's great. I was a little shocked when Dopamine Lit hit me. Right out of the gate, it hits you hard. I just wasn't expecting that right out of the gate there with Lupe. You know, sometimes artists will do this and it's not effective. This was very effective. It kept the listen going. I liked it. Now, we don't normally do this, but we're going to do it here anyway. So strap yourselves in. There are three tracks that really did not hit me as hard as I wanted them to hit me. That's Made in America, City of the Year, and NGL. The one exception with NGL, though, is the line, Promise Land, I don't believe that. I don't know why that hit me different, but it, it kept that song on the radar for me. Then we have tracks like Promise. Man, that's a cool track. I keep it 100, I keep it 1,000, I keep it 10,000? This means he's keeping it super real. And nobody likes that more than me when we're vibing to some good Lupe. Nobody. I love it. This is also evidence that this man has been through some changes. Lots of them. He's keeping it real. And no one else is keeping it real, apparently. But he's keeping it as honest as he knows how. And I really respect that. The beat on Jump was so infectious. Took me way back to rap from, I don't know, 10, 15 years ago. It was just so good and catchy. I mean, you don't have that a lot these days. So this one really caught me just like I wanted to be caught. Well done, dude. Again, it really helped us vibe. We need to vibe more when we're listening to rap music these days. We really need to vibe. The same thing happened with It's Not Design, except in a little bit different way. That little throwback, that little retro vibe, that was really cool, very well executed. Good stuff, man. Some other good stuff. Tranquilo, I hope I'm saying that right, drops one of the coolest lines by far. Wear my serenity as my necklace. This caught me very off guard because he was being so honest, so vulnerable. You don't see that a lot. You just don't. And I respect that. Everything is taken down a notch with Kill featuring T.Y. Dolla Sign. This is an interesting track. Once you listen to it, it goes some interesting places. But you keep listening the whole way through and it's very cool. Let's face it, this album really does something special. From tracks like Pick Up The Phone to two of my favorites, which are Law and High, featuring none other than the one, the only, Simon Says. His electronic vibe on this and his lyrics, everything just flows so well. It made for a great listen. Great rhymes, great flow make for a really awesome listen you won't be disappointed with this one 100 recommend it check it out now but to be honest the features on this album is what makes a great release an album of greatness leave your comments down below i'm really excited to see what you think and thanks for watching we'll see you again here in the 10th aisle